Hello, my son's hollering in the background. Sorry about that if you hear him. I have two kids here. Anyway, this is Tamara Rubin, Lead Safe Mama, LeadSafeMama.com, and I have a few little videos I want to do today. One of them is about vintage books, and I don't know if you saw recently on the blog, there's a lot of vintage books on the blog, and most of the vintage books have unsafe levels of lead and shouldn't be considered safe for children to play with or read, unfortunately. And so uh, people have been asking, well, how do we know? Does it get off on our hands? And, you know, is it creating dust? And my answer is, well, you can smell vintage books. And if you can smell them, it's likely that they're creating dust. This particular book um, had levels of about 2,000 parts per million in the yellow and in the black in the 3,000 to 4,000 parts per million lead and on the top again um, in the two to 4,000 parts per million lead. And this is, um, I don't even know what year it is. Let's see what year it is. Um, I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't have a year on the front. It's got to have a year. Really tiny. 1956, 1959. Ooh, I'm going to get the glasses out for this one. Um, here are the glasses. Oh, look, I can see. 1956. Uh, this book was made, printed. So uh, we have this 1956 book and on the inside I specifically uh, had tested a page that, well all of the pages have lots of color and ink. Um, here's a good example of the pages. I tested this page and it had uh, lead levels in the range of 400 to 700 parts per million using XRF technology. And if you have a question about the type of testing I do here and report here on the and on the blog, um, it's X-ray fluorescence spectrometer uh, testing, and you um, you can't do it at home. The instruments cost about fifty thousand dollars new when all the software is loaded in them. You can get one for something in the twenty to thirty to forty thousand range, depending on which model you get and which software package you get. Anyway, so this is testing I do that most people can't do at home. And it's using tube-based x-ray technology, non-radioactive source um, x-ray. And the problem is um, it reads through the pages. So when I get a reading of 700 or 400 on a page, um, I don't know is it reading through to the 2000 of the cover or is it just reading um, the ink on the page? How do, how do we know what the reading is capturing? So what I'm planning on doing is something kind of exciting. Uh, my friend owns this company called CertifiedKit.com. You can buy lead test kits from them. And so he sent me a bunch of these lead test kits for dust wipe samples, which um, I recommend uh, he we don't have a financial relationship he's not a sponsor right now he's helped me in the past with contributions but um, hasn't contributed in a while sometimes he offers a discount code for my readers there isn't one up right now but I'll talk to him about that anyway this is for generally for testing for the dust um, the, testing the dust in your home for lead and what I'm going to use it for is to test a book um, because these are large enough format that we can get a good square foot of uh, coverage uh, we're going to find out how many micrograms per square foot of lead there are in uh, the cover and on the pages of a book and so as soon as I do that test I will one I'll do the test on video for us so you'll we'll have an, another live video like this where I'll, I'll actually show you how I use the test on the book and then after that we will uh, do an, a third video with the test results to see what happened and if in fact there is uh, bioavailable lead that's coming off the book just from touching it so that'll be a really interesting experiment and it's not an experiment I think um, that any one's ever done before so I'm really excited about that plus we already know the quantifiable lead levels in the book in terms of parts per million which I said on this is between 200 and I mean sorry 2,000 and 4,000 parts per million in the cover and about 400 to 700 parts per million on the pages so we'll be able to compare what a book with this level of lead uh, results in in terms of a dust wipe sample and every type of lead test has a different type of measurement a different quantity or a uh, way to measure things so the dust wipe samples are measured in micrograms per square foot and it was the hazard level was recently lowered to 10 micrograms per square foot when my children were poisoned the level was 40 micrograms per square foot and Dr. Lanfear in my film uh, talks about how they knew when they set 
at the levels that even five micrograms per square foot would cause problems for children and, and contribute to elevated blood lead levels. So we know at least five micrograms per square foot is toxic on the floor or a surface in a home. So I would imagine that if this comes in above five, um, we have a concern. So we'll see how, how that works out. And um, I'm excited to do that experiment. So I, I've got a bunch of different little videos do, I'm doing today, and I just wanted to do them separately so that I can post them each separately. So this is going to be the video about that I'm going to test this book, which is exciting. And um, and then in a, in a minute, I'm going to do another video where I'm talking about glasses, the ceramic thing, this Garfield glass. Um, I've got a couple other good things. I've got um, this, uh, what do you call these, resin sculptures and a um, potting uh, planter kind of thing from Ikea. So stay tuned or check back in a moment for another video that talks about those things and uh, check back probably um, in the next couple of days for the video where I'm going to be doing the dust wipe sampling of the book and then we'll probably get those results from certifiedkit.com in uh, five to seven days and we'll publish a third video with those test results. Thanks for being here and I'll see you all soon. Tamara Rubin, TamaraRubin.com, LeadSafeMama.com and please let me know if you have any questions. I try and answer all of them but it's kind of hard because there's so many recently. Okay, talk to you later and definitely check out my website and use the search bar there if you have uh, are looking for a specific thing that you want to know whether or not has lead and how much lead it has. The search bar is on every page and just enter in a few keywords and hopefully you'll find what you're looking for. Bye-bye. See you soon.